Hi guys, so this is the 24th C tutorial. Now I've already set up what we're going to do today because it is a tough section. I just, I've just i been doing it a few times because I'm not too sure how to best describe it. So I'm hoping that this time it'll work. Now what we've got is we're dealing with mathematical functions and we're on to our sine, cos and tans. For those of you that know what they are, you might like them, you might hate them, but we're not going to worry about how they operate and why they operate. We're just going to solve them in this part. So for those of you that know how to do all this, then it's basically just showing you how to do it in computers. For those of you that don't know anything about this, I'm hoping to show you how to do it in computers and how to get a basic, like a really basic understanding of what sine, cos, and tan actually do. So what we've got is we've got sine... Uh, x, which is essentially the same as, sorry, I'll place this value back to the normal, 0.25. So essentially we've got x equals 0.25. And that's the same with all the x's down here. Now, what I'm going to say first is that sine equals, um, I'm just going to sine, I believe that's how it's spelt. Um, cosine, I believe, oh, and down the bottom it's the tangent. So that's the, probably the simplest one, the tangent, um, or sine, I don't know. I just know that the spelling of tangent I'm pretty sure is correct, I'm not 100%, but it's just the way I go. Um, so what we're doing here is we're saying that when we pass, well, when we put two, 0.25 in here and times it by sine, we get an answer that's equal to y. <clears throat> well, our value is equal to y. So in this one, we're times in the cosine of x and it's giving us the value of y. So that's actually probably the best way to explain it. We're in the top one, we're times in the sine of x and it's giving us the value of y. The cosine of x times is equal to y and the tangent of x is equal to y. So again I'm not going to go in to tell you what in particular these values actually are but as you can see we've got 0 0.25, 0 0.97 which is the cosine and 0 0.26 which is the tangent. Now on my calculator because I wanted it to be a bit more, actually you know what, we're not going to do that. Um, going to get rid of the uh, 0.2f's. We're going to see what this actually prints out to be in with more numbers available to us. So this is what my calculator has returned with. Yes, exactly what this has. So my calculator only returned up to six digits. So this is our answer. We need to understand that we're not going to get this just right away. This takes years to build up a good knowledge of, and even then, it's just hard. Like one of my courses this year had a lot to do with uh, sine, cos, and tan, and I just I just had trouble with it. But anyway, if you have time, look it up, learn about it. But if, if you already know it, that's great. Maybe you can share some knowledge in the comments about it. Anyway, I'll let you guys go. Remember to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.